All right, guys, what's up? Uh, Nick White here, talking coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube as yeah, usual. Um, we did two sum a long time ago. I think we did two sum two. There's all these like two sum problems on here. I think we did all of those. Um, those were medium, I think. I we did three sum closest, but I just noticed we skipped over this one called three sum. Um, so three sum is similar to two, two sums, just two numbers adding up to a certain sum or something like that. Um, this one is where we have to find three numbers that add up to zero. So we just have to go through the array, find three numbers that add up to zero and return them as a list of lists of integers. So, oh no, 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 all sets of three, three that add up to zero. Okay. So if there's more than one, uh, triplet, um, group of numbers that add up to zero, we have to return all of them. So it is a little bit difficult. Um, so we find all unique and they have to be unique. Okay. So this one's pretty hard. There's, they can't be duplicates. Okay. So we can't have, if we find negative one, zero, uh, one at the beginning, and then it was at the end too, we would only return it once. So that makes it a little more challenging. Okay. So here's how we're going to do it. We're just going to loop through this array number by number so just, you know, this, 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 this. And then we're just going to recreate two sum on the rest of this. Two sum is finding a pair that add up to a specific sum. So what we do is we just go to this element. We say, okay, what do we need to get to zero? We need one because we have negative one. If we're on this element, we have negative one right now. Okay, well, we need one. So let's find a pair that add up to one. Okay. Zero, one, add up to one. Okay, we found it. So then we can return all three. And what we're going to do is when we find the same number in the array, we're just going to skip over it. And when we find um, just duplicates, we just skip over duplicates so there's no solution uh, um, duplicates because there's not allowed to be. So that's pretty much it. I mean, you'll probably see how it works when we go. First thing we're going to actually have to do is sort. I forgot about that because the two sum uh, two pointer method requires the pointers to go inwards. And, you know, that's just not going to work unless it's sorted. Okay. So arrays dot sort, just using a built in sort on nums. Fastest this goes is n squared. And, you know, that's not bad since it's, you know, we're finding three numbers. But. You know, it sucks that it's kind of a slow thing, but nothing you can do about it. We're going to declare our response array. So it's a list of list of integers. We'll call it, uh, you know, output array. That should be fine. We're going to do a linked list. Um, then we do our main loop here. And we're looking for triplet numbers. So it's going to be less than nums.length minus 2 because we're, we're looking after the current element. We're going through the current element, and then we're finding a pair afterwards. So if we're here, we got to stop less than nums.length minus 2 so that, you know, we have a chance to look at the last two after. It doesn't go out of bounds, you know. Okay. If i is equal to 0 or i is greater than 0, you know, those are the two options, basically. And, but this condition too... This handles the duplicates. Nums.length is not equal to, num I mean, nums of i is not equal to nums of i minus 1. So if this if this isn't true, if we found a duplicate, if we're going over the same number, we're just going to skip. So you could write this however you want. You could say if they are equal, then continue to the next loop or whatever. But I'm just writing it like this. You know, another way to write it would be like, you know, if they're equal, then continue you know, write the word continue, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to do, if they're not equal, then we're going to write what we're going to do in here. Okay. So this means we found a good element and we can start looking for a pair, right? We have the current element. We're just looping through and now we want to find a pair of numbers. Okay. So if we're at this element, where do we want to start to find our pair? We're not going to include this element within the pair. Uh, this is one of the triplets. So we're going to start our lower boundary here and we're going to start our upper boundary here. And then since it's sorted, it'll work out so that we can just move the, both of the boundaries inwards until we find a perfect match. That's exactly how two-sum works. I'd recommend checking that out if you don't understand it fully. Okay, so we're just going to set up our um, boundaries. So the lower boundary is going to be equal to um, i plus 1, the current in the next index. And the higher boundary is going to be equal to the second, the no, the last element of the array. So there we go.
And then the sum that we're going to be looking for within this pair is going to be equal to zero because we're looking for zero. The three numbers have to add up to zero. So at the current element, we do zero minus the current number. And then that's going to be what we're looking for, you know. So zero minus negative one is one when we're on this thing. So we're going to be looking for two numbers that add up to one now. So now let's you know, use our boundaries while low is less than high. We are just going to do some basic conditions. Well, first of all, if nums of low plus, this is just straight out of two sum, plus nums of high is equal to sum. Well, then we found our sum. So we can just add that to our output array. We can be like output array dot add. And then there's this sweet method, uh, arrays dot as list, where you can just pass in these are the numbers as arguments. So we do nums of i, nums of low, in nums of high, and then that'll just append the list to our output array. There we go, we found a perfect one. Because these two numbers add up to the sum, which is the zero minus the current number. So it's exactly what we're looking for. Now, we don't want, we want to keep going in this loop, but we don't want to have duplicates. If there's like zero, 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 if there's a bunch of duplicates, we want to avoid those. So while low is less than high, and um, nums of low, is equal to nums of low plus one, then th that's just a duplicate and we can't have those in our thing. So we're just gonna increment low. And the same goes for high. We don't want duplicate high uh, values either because we're just gonna append the same array. We'll just find the same sum again and we'll append the array. So that would be stupid. So we're just gonna do skip over these duplicates if nums of high is equal to high minus one because high goes backwards. Um, we just skip over them, and once we get to the right spot, we just do that one increment. Uh, you know, we increment by one on both of them once we're at the right spot, and we have no more duplicates. Great, that's pretty much all of the problem right there. All, all it is now is just adjusting the boundaries. So else if, okay, if nums of low um, plus nums of high is greater than the sum, so that means that we want to make the higher boundary go down, just like in two sum, the higher boundary should go down. So the number that were nums of low plus nums of high will be smaller since it's sorted if we make high go down. Um, otherwise, we want it to be bigger to equal the sum. So we just say low plus plus for bigger numbers, you know. And then that is pretty much it, if I remember correctly. I mean, that seems good to me. So we can just return our output array and run this. And uh, hopefully it is good. It looks like we have negative one, negative one, negative one, negative one, zero, negative one. What are we doing wrong here? I'm an idiot. It is right here. It is just high instead of I. You don't, why would we? Okay, whatever. I always have, I can never do it perfectly. You know, there it is. Yeah, you have to add the triplet, the correct triplet. triplet. These. This is the pair you're looking to match with the sum. And then this is the current element. So hopefully this makes sense to you guys. You sort the array. So in this case, let me just go over it one more time. Sorted array would be what? Negative one, negative one, negative four as well. Eh. Sorry. Negative four, negative one, negative one, zero, one, two, right? So you look at the first element, you see negative four, you do zero minus negative four, that's four. So now you're looking for three, you're looking for a pair of elements that add up to four that you can return with negative four. So are there a pair of elements that add up to four? No. So then you keep going, negative one. Now you're looking for a pair of elements that add up to one. Okay, you got some right here. So negative one, zero, one is a pair of elements that add up to one. And then since this is the same exact number, you don't want to duplicate that. So that's why we skip it. If nums of i is equal to nums of i minus one, we do not execute any of this code, only if they're different. So it's almost like we see this one, we return negative one, zero, negative one. That's a good pair that adds up to zero. We skip this one and we go right to zero. Two numbers that add up to zero. Nope. And that's the whole example. So, um, Thanks for watching. Check out my Patreon. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have questions. And uh, comment below anything else. I mean, how was your day? How are you guys doing? That's it. See you guys later. My bad, dudes. I forgot to show myself running the code. 
There you go.